Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Control 2. This is part 40. We are on our way to Prusion. I just tried ripping off the Druge, but they don't like me because I have the Utwig bomb. Which is fair enough, I suppose. Over here, I believe. To this one here. No. Must be this one then. Here we go. Devices. Let's use the Unga caster. Your presence here is painful to us. What is it you wish? Um, we really need advice from you. Our wisdom is available. Detail your need. Um, I uh, borrowed this device from the Micron. What do you know about? Do you know what it is? We do not recognize this device, but it appears to be a precursor tool which can radiate a great amount of energy. Thanks, that's enough advice for now. Your presence here is a pain. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, once and future ally. Okay, let's use the device. Let's use the sun device. We are free. You have flooded our synthesis mechanisms with a wealth of radiant energy. What was supposed to take decades has been accomplished in seconds. The process is incomplete, yet we have emerged. We are the truer. Why have you interrupted the process? Um. <laughs> um, we struggle to free all races from the Urquan. We need your help. Your need must be great for you to have risked so much just to bring us from beneath the shield. We were not ready, but this is now in the past. What is done is done. Indeed. You are intent on stopping the Urquan. Very well. We are prepared to assist you in whatever way we can. We must first tell you that even before we were placed under the slave shield, we realized that the only way to truly defeat the Urquan was to first destroy their precursor battle platform, the Samatra. This vessel was responsible for the victory of the hierarchy over the Alliance. When it was brought to bear against our worlds, we could not resist it. This must be your priority. This must be your eventual goal. We know what is necessary to achieve this end. But first, we must know what you have already learned. So we will scan the data banks and logs aboard your ship. There. That's quick. The process is complete. Now we can discuss what you must do. You need to locate the Urquan's Samatra vessel. If you cannot find it yourself, ask those others who are near the Urquan. Perhaps they will know. Is that for pick? We have detected the presence of a Dnyari aboard your ship. Though the being is darkly evil and incredibly dangerous, the Talo device you possess has effectively nullified the creature's power over you. However, it will do a most excellent job distracting the Urquan long enough for you to approach the Samatra and destroy it. You possess an antimatter bomb. This is good. But had you activated it, the device would have annihilated your ship and everything else within 500 kilometers. Even so, we will have to improve this device. 
magnify its power with our crystal technology. The destructive potential of this weapon will then make it suitable for the most important task you will ever undertake. The neutralization of the Sumatra, the Urquan's nearly invincible battle platform. You are fully prepared for the undertaking. There is every chance that you will be able to destroy the Sumatra and stop both the Urquan and the Quora. Can you provide us with any other assistance? Because your flagship will be substantially weakened by our modifications, you may require additional combat vehicles for protection, so that you can approach close enough to the Samatra to detonate the weapon. We will provide you with the designs for our new Avatar-class fighting ships. In competent hands, these ships are a match for both the Urquan and Core R vessels. So, what happens now? We will now fit the precursor weapon and our own crystal amplification system to your vessel by routing a portion of your flagship's fusion power through the weapon's ignition chamber. Its destructive force will be multiplied by a large factor. Well, fire this... We'll fire this weapon in the match, right? It's not going to hurt my ship, is it? Your vessel will be totally annihilated. What? Whoa, gee, that's bad. I don't suppose there's anything we can do to change that, is there? No. Very well, proceed with the modifications. The completion date for your vessel's modification is roughly two weeks hence so that you and your human companions may make any necessary preparations at your starbase. We will now transport you and your crew back to Earth immediately. Good luck, Captain. Whoosh. Hi, I'm at your disposal, later. Captain. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. We have made a formal alliance with the Shimmer. Their ships can now be built in our shipyards. Also, in the two weeks that have passed since the Shimmer began to work on your vessel, they attached the Utwig bomb to your ship and have also put in place their own crystalline amplification devices to boost dramatically the power of the weapon. This work is now complete and your flagship is ready for whatever final modifications you desire. The Shimmer technicians wanted me to explain to you that the bomb and its crystal power boosters are fragile and cannot be moved from their positions at the back of your vehicle. Now I have some bad news and some good news. The Shimura had to remove all your main modules, weapons, crew pods, and the whole lot including your emergency warp escape unit, so pick your engagements carefully, Captain. In oh, addition, okay. their equipment now fills the rear ten slots, leaving you only six for your own modules. Hmm. But here's the good news. The Shimura have provided us with an unbelievable wealth of minerals and other resources. We no longer have limits on what we can build for your flagship or your fleet. Um, goodbye, Commander. We're all depending on you. Goodbye, and good luck. Hmm. Let's outfit the starship. Modules. Okay, we're going to want fuel. Going to need crew. Um. Let's see. Could have weapon. One weapon. One tracking device. No, it's not gonna be that effective. I don't think. Well, maybe. Hellball cannon. Shiva furnace. Tracking system. I think that will probably do for now. Fuel. Bump our fuel up to 110. Go to the shipyard.
Fleet crew. Okay, let's see. Add a Tremor avatar. Two crew, nice. Um, got an Earthling cruiser. We needed Oars Nemesis. I don't think there's anything else I need. Just scrap you quickly and just check. Got one of you, got one of you, got one of you, got one of you, got one of you. Okay then. Got one of every ship. Plus a couple of extras. Um Menu, depart the starbase. Let's head to Quasi Space. Now where was it? It took me near the Zotfot pick. I can't recall. Um Devices, quasi portal. Um, let's try this one down here. Don't know where this is going to take me. We are eh, not too far. Alpha Tukane, let's go. Trying to avoid all Urquan and Kua. That was close. They're following me. Miles away. It's pretty far away as well. Uh oh, he's pretty close. Might have to fight that guy when we leave. Maybe. Let's head to the planet. Chat with these guys. Hello, human ally. We are at your service. What do you want? What do you want? So, what's happening around here? We may not have told you this before, Captain, but my species is somewhat sensitive to certain metapsychic vibrations. Oh no! Not this mental stuff again. Although my friend's species has difficulty understanding our powers, <laughs> I can guarantee you, Captain, that our limited abilities are quite real. Oh, yeah. Remember that time you said you could fix our broken chronometers with your sympathetic psionic waves? More like pathetic waves, if you ask me. Yark, yark, yark. Even though all this negative energy, Captain, we have discovered that... And then there was the time that you said you could bend dwarfs with just your... Shut up. Sorry. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted... I said I was sorry. Our most talented seers have detected some ominous and powerful metapsychic signals from the direction of the Orionis constellation. Yes, we've heard this already. Any news about the war between the two alien races? We have modified a few of our Stinger starships for long-range reconnaissance missions. We strapped a bunch of fuel tanks on their hull. The scouts were ordered to investigate the progress of the war between the green ships, who we now know as the Urquan, and the black ships flown by the Korra. We sent out ten, two came back. <laughs> the information they gathered was worth the cost. Unless you were one of the scouts, I suppose. Yuck, yuck, yuck! Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, 
The intelligence they gathered indicates that the Korra will win their war sometime near the beginning of the year 2158. Unless someone evens up the alien forces by destroying about a bazillion Korra ships. 2158? Well, it's now 2159. I'd like some specific information. Sure. What do you want to know? Just ask away. Um... That's enough info for now, thanks. Anything else? Um, bye, Zop. Bye, Fort. Bye, Pick. Goodbye, Captain. See ya. Okay, so these guys don't know where it is. Let's head to Beetlejuice. They're pretty close. Will we get away? Let's find out. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. Star map. Third I shouldn't live after shrinking. Which is good. Oh, as the mic on say, this is good. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's going to be close. That oh, was close. Very close indeed. Got to be getting close now. Here we are. Let's go to the star base. The Micron's fleet is in shambles. Justice is ours. Mm. We have revenged ourselves against the heinous Micron's. They fell for our trap so completely. When they approached Organon 1, we were hiding behind its moon. As they approached, their ships broke combat formation in preparation for their hideous implanting ceremony. We waited until they were fully dispersed around the planet. Then we attacked. The standard Micon tactic would have been to speed out of orbit using a gravity whip maneuver. But the pod ships refused to abandon their slow-moving, deep children's spore pods. They remained in the gravity well. And we sliced them to ribbons. They must have lost a dozen ships to their own stupidity, running into their own plasmoids. The rest? Well, we took care of most of them in our own special way. And Captain, now that we have taken our revenge on the Micron, we give you our Starship officers and penetrator designs so that you can add our ships to your fleet. Yay! So, what happens to you now? I expect I'm going to be pretty busy for the next few months, overseeing repairs to our fleet of penetrator starships and preparing some kind of defensive system for this starbase. If and when the Urquan return here, we want to have a little surprise ready for them. Is there anything else I can do to you? Um, I mean, for you? Captain, the next step is to pull down the slave shield from our planet. In my opinion, the only people who could do that are the Chenjesi. And as far as I know, they are under a shield of their own. Not anymore. Actually, I'm just dodging the real issue, Captain. Your agenda really has only one item. Destroy the Urquan hierarchy. How to do that? I'm not sure. But I know you can't take them head on, even with that amazing ship of yours. You will have to find their weak spot, and then strike it with everything you've got. So, what's new, Talana? Not a great deal, Captain. You seem to be the biggest source of excitement around here. I've had a request from just about every officer under my command to be transferred to your Earth Starbase to serve under you. If I wasn't running this Starbase, I'd be first in line. Goodbye, Solana. Goodbye, my human. Hmm, 
Okay. Where are we going to get this information from? Hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. We need to find out where the Sumatra is. Who would know? Who would know? It's pretty empty down here now. No Bekunk, no Ilraf. Let's see, no Spathy. That was a while ago. Did the oars know? Who would know where the Sumatra is? Let's try the oars. Where to go? Of course, new ally though, which is pretty good. Will the oars know where the Sumatra is? I doubt it. And here, fly manually. Here's an oars. Hello, oars. I've spoken to these guys in a while. I am expanding. It is so much squishy to smell you. Campers are the best. I have anticipation and then what? Better party in the middle for sure. Um. No. We do. Nothing to ask these guys about the Sumatra. Where else could we go? Um, the Vux snow? Maybe. Let's try the Vux. Whoops. I am expanding. Goodbye. <laughs> no, another one. I am yeah. Go away. <laughs> Stop getting in the way of my ship. I'm sure it's going to be the Zotfot pick. They're in uh, Quan and Quora space, they should know. Hmm. No bucks here. Oh, the third actually doing pretty well fighting off the Ulraf. Talk to you. Hopefully, it's not too many. Three is not too bad. Welcome back. All our coherent destructors are currently offline. But if you'd care to hold your present course and speed, one would be free to annihilate you shortly. Um. Vux, we seek to learn more about you. Maybe we can see eye to eyes. Look at those yellowish white hard things in your mouth. How do you keep from biting off that pulpy organ? Gross. <laughs> Please forgive us. You said that just because you want stuff from us, Vox. You didn't really mean it. <laughs> um, let's take. Who would be good? Let's try Rop it up. Okay, well that wasn't very good. 
Okay, let's try Woofy. Go on, Woofy. Hmm, took one crew man damage. Three more hits needed. Come on. Yeah. Well, that was close. Three good hits. Three more good hits. Four more needed. Three more needed. Ooh, planet. <laughs> Planets are my worst enemy in this game. Not any particular race, just the planets. Okay, so you've got no information for me. Where should we try next? Maybe the Utwig would know. Excuse devices, quasi portal. Gonna run out of fuel soon. Uh, where should we try? Let's try this middle one. Star map. Ooh, right next to the wig. That's handy. Let's try this planet here. Well, system. Planetary system. And then we will go to Trade Master Greenish somewhere, or call him to us and get some fuel. Saves a lot of time popping around in space like that. This isn't their home system. Maybe it is. I think, maybe, perhaps. No. It's a rainbow world. Scan the planet. I'm guessing I've been here already. Um, let's try this one here. Where is the Sumatra? I need to know. Promising, promising. Shout you guys. We extend our sincere greetings to the remarkable being <laughs> that returned to the Utwig the meaning for our continued existence. We have returned from a conflict of a grand scale, with our fleet battered, but our masks of valor and daring do held high. <laughs> Tell us what events have transpired since we last met. We have met the core uh, in battle, and, well, let me explain. Initially, when our forces swept to the Horologi stars, they proved effective against the armaments of the core uh. With our shield absorption technology, we were able to sweep clear the core uh's spinning blades and absorb the brunt of their fiery corona, allowing our Supox allies to concentrate on the vessels themselves. However, the costs were high. Very high. I should don the facial effigy of remorse for lost comrades. Given what you have learned, what do you think we should do now? We have done all that we can. There are no others capable of significant intervention. Certain doom grows imminent for all of us. We lament, 
But wait, listen closely. The Ultron intervenes. There is a solution. You are the solution. Only you may halt the core Oz seemingly inevitable advance upon life. They can be defeated, and you must do it! Oh, my spirit is lifted. If only my mask of confident and lofty posture had not been burned, I would don it with rash impudence, ignoring all etiquette and procedures. Hmm. We thank you for your aid. <clears throat> we go now to address the matters at hand. Excellent! The Ultron's coruscations indicate that your future actions are laced with great potential. Proceed with our heartiest endorsement. Hmm. Okay. Let's visit the soup box. Guess we'll go here. And we use the Unga Caster. Is that Mr. Trademaster Greenish? Let's go find out. Welcome back, Captain. You are our favorite customer. Look at those now, credits. What can we do for you today? Um, I like to sell some stuff. Okay, I'd like to buy fuel. Fill my tanks. Goodbye. And with that, I'm going to call that it for part 40. Join me next time for part 41, where hopefully we'll find out where the Sumatra's located. I'll see you then.